I've been seeing him now for about a good 10 years. A lot of it was for diabetic ulcers. He says he would like to try something on me. He wasn't too sure if it was gonna work, and um, I'm glad it did work. Karen is a diabetic with a non-healing ulcer. We were treating her at the wound center. We had tried numerous modalities to try to get the wound to heal. So what we ended up doing was going to stem cells. Uh, by applying stem cells, we were able to heal the wound. Diabetics are more prone to ulcerations uh, due to the fact that usually they're neuropathic and have poor circulatory perfusion to the lower extremity. Stem cells are, are very beneficial as for wound healing and also tissue repair, uh, just for the fact that they have uh, abundance of growth factors. Uh, what's lacking in a lot of diabetics and a lot of uh, patients as we get older is our lack of growth factors for our wounds to heal. And a lot of times by introducing these uh, stem cells, we are able to introduce these new growth factors to stimulate the wound to progress and heal. I trust jo Dr. Liu totally. And so does my family. He's very personable, he's very honest, and he will tell you straight out what you need to do, and I trust him. After the stem cells are applied, it's followed with a, a dressing, and then basically the patient remains not weight-bearing for approximately two to three weeks. Uh, usually on the first visit, after about the fourth, uh, fifth day, postoperatively, upon removal of the dressing, we do start to see some healthy tissue growth. Karen's doing well. We have uh, her right foot, uh, which had a non-healing wound. Within application of the stem cell itself, we had the wound healed within two weeks. My husband trusts him. I have um, a lot of faith in him, and I don't, I don't want to quit seeing him. <laughs> you know, I want to keep coming here. I don't want to see any other doctor for my feet.